And in Katsina State, worshippers converged on the GRA Central Mosque to offer the two rakat prayers, seeking Allah's favors and solution to the nation's challenges. They called on the government to introduce policies that will improve the standard of living. The Salah celebration is going smoothly, but people complain of the price of all these things that are needed, from the rams, from the clothing and all these things. So this is the only problem with this, but the, uh, the activities on Day is normal. Ten years. Uh, we pray to Almighty Allah to give us to strength, uh, strengthen our relationship. Uh, Muslim should be a brother to another Muslim. And whether you are in Africa or in Asia or Europe, we pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to make things easy to us. And in Kwara states, the chief imam and the emir of Ilori, Ibrahim Sulugambari, is calling for continuous prayers for Nigeria. Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak and former president of the Senate, Bukala Saraki, also enjoined Muslims to continue to pray for the unity and progress of Nigeria. Reached out to me from the Holy Land and asked what my prayer points were. And I said for Nigeria, it's unity, peace and progress. Today my message is same, unity, peace and progress for Nigeria. For those of us that have seen today, we say Alhamdulillah. For those that have departed, we say May Allah grant them a Jannah to draws. We're still on the Eid celebration. The Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, Adegboyega Oyotola, and the National Secretary of the APC have called on Muslim faithful to use the festive period to pray for a prosperous nation on the President Bolatinumbu. TVC News senior reporter Rafiu Hamid reports. In Arabiji, the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, Adegboyega Oyotola, and his wife, Kafayat Oyotola, observed their two rakat prayer at Rugby Central Heat. Congratulate all Muslims and brothers in Islam everywhere in the world for this wonderful day. The significance of today is the fact that we must be ready to make sacrifice. We must not make promises that we cannot fulfill. I wish all of us Eid uh, Mubarak. We should ensure that our activities I still lost to want the fear of Almighty Allah. I wish all of us many happy Eid uh, al And we should try to have patience and support our president. He meant what for us. Without our support, success may be a little bit difficult, though it is very tough now. The National Secretary of the APC, Ajibola Bashiru, who joined Muslim faithful at Oshogun Central Eid, called for tolerance and patience. With the present administration. We urge our Nigerians to continue to be dedicated to piety, to be dedicated to integrity, to be dedicated to humility, and to continue to see our selflessness as one of sacrifice that will enable us to have a better society. We felicitate with all Muslims and also our friends who are not Muslims on this very special occasion. And we urge them to continue to pray for the success of our administration of President Bola Ahmed. We should continue to promote peace and tranquility because the purpose of, Salah, of, of this period is that uh, we should try to send our hands of fellowship to the needy. We know the situation of things in the country. The state governor observed the two rakat prayer in his own town a day. It's to be grateful to God for keeping us alive to see today. That is my message. And it should embalm the principle of our prophet, you know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The governor had earlier sponsored a free train ride which brought Muslim faithful from Lagos to Ocean State for the celebration. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Oshubu. Well, as Nigerians join the counterparts to celebrate this year's Ida Kabir, Lagos residents, particularly the Islamic faithful, have been asked to continue on the path of peaceful coexistence and imbibe the lessons of the sacrifice made by Prophet Ibrahim. A member of the House of Representatives, Moshi Federal Constituency 2, Moses Fainka, 
while celebrating with his constituents, appealed to them to remain steadfast and have faith in the renewed hope agenda of the president. He also highlighted the significance of selflessness, compassion, and the willingness to make sacrifices for the sake of the faith and the betterment of humanity. This uh, festive period is unique worldwide. I want us all to please do it, and let us do it according to our capacity. If Mr. He kills 20 rams, it has finished, we end it. If Mr. He kills one ram, the rams are finished, will be the end of the story. No one should go and borrow money in order to do this. You don't have the capacity this year. Capacity abounds. Next year, you may have capacity to kill ram and to even dash out. Since 1999, that we got democracy. I think the major, uh, major requirements for every society is to get dividends of democracy. Getting dividends of democracy might be in different forms. Might be in the form of you being an executive and also being in the legislature. So what we are saying here today is that we are also getting dividends of democracy in motion. Let's go on a short break. When we return, we have more stories for you to stay with us.